Okay. So well, the point also... of that, right, is that as we do the next step that mm -hmm. Mark's about to show us, as individuals not only add ideas, not only see their goals, not only see these ideas and project priorities and things like that, they're actually going to get to contribute to them and they're going to get to be able to actually vote and provide their input. Where Straline is very different than other idea management tools, if you are using one, is that rather than upvote or favorite or like just vote saying, hey, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one, what can you do, Mark? We can compare them. So um, if I click into compare, what it's doing in the background is just going to get all the ideas. So it's asking me based against this goal, so increased profit, which one of these two do I think is going to have um, the most impact on that goal? So I'm and again, I've got the option here. If I don't think I've got enough information about this, I can skip this comparison. But in this case, I am thinking that uh, from my perspective in customer success management, like create YouTube social media account um, would have uh, an impact on increased profits. Um, so I'm going to click that one. And as I'm going through these, um, not only is it um, taking this information, feeding it into the algorithm to change those rankings dynamically, um, it's also keeping a record so I know what impact um, th this has had on um, uh, what impact I'm making. So again, I can keep on going through. So the idea is that as a team member, I can just log in here. Maybe this is the first thing I do for five minutes every morning and <laughs> I can I can um, just contribute and make an impact while I'm having that morning coffee and all this information is uh, being used by the algorithm to make our decisions even better. So so that's the comparison part of um, Straline that I can contribute as a team member and make those contributions. If I go back to the top page now, um, we can see the comparisons have changed up here, which allows me to see um, what impact I'm making. And then I can go into the ratings. So ratings a little bit more different. I can go into a specific um, idea or project or opportunity. And then um, I can rate, rate that. So um, as you can see on the bottom, um, I can I can view this um, to see some more information about the uh, objective, uh, about the idea or project or opportunity, but I can also um, rate it at the bottom. So here I can uh, rate it on whether it's going to make a positive impact, a negative impact, or it's not going to make an impact. So I can move uh, this along the line here and I can save those contributions. And again, this is going straight into that algorithm to change those ratings in uh, dynamically. As I rate these. 